Atlassian recently introduced brand new permissions available in company managed Jira projects. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at those new permissions, what they are, how you can use them, and just give you my overall two cents on what do I think about these new permissions. Now, the permission schemes don't always change, so it's kind of rare when Atlassian makes changes like these. So we're definitely going to deep dive into these new permissions and help you understand how they work and how you can benefit or not benefit from them. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Drop a like if you get value. And don't forget to check out those links down below. I got some really cool merch. I have paid courses, free courses, and more importantly, a membership opportunity where I can help you solve your Jira problems. Let's jump into Jira and let's take a look at our permission schemes. Now, before we get started, just a reminder, this is for company managed Jira projects. I want to make sure that that is totally bold and italicized here because company managed only. If you're in the team managed project, you don't get all these permissions, so sorry. All right, let's jump into Jira. Here we are inside of a Jira project. Again, I am in a company manager project, as you can see down here on the bottom left corner. And let's talk about a couple of new permissions that are available to us. The first one is this manage issue layouts. This one's interesting because what this allows you to do is on the view, so when you open up an issue, you can move the fields around. Now, historically, the way this permission has worked is if you are a project administrator, as in you are able to get to these permissions here and you're able to do these different settings. If, as long as you can do that, then there was under issues, there is a layout button and you can click on that and you can modify the layout. Now, because of this new permission, I'm assuming that you can now get to this by clicking that little gear on the issue itself and it's gonna take you to the layout and you're gonna be able to modify things. So as long as you now have this permission, you'll be able to do this without having all the other administrative things like creating releases and creating components and deleting issues and all that other good stuff. So this is, I think, a very welcome new permission that is going to enable a lot of just regular Jira users, a lot of power to be able to move things around where they see fit and lower the burden of having to do these administrative things on that Jira admin. So really, really good one here. Next up, we have the ability to edit workflows. Again, this has always been a you have to be a Jira admin. So not even a project admin, but you have to be a Jira admin to edit the workflows. So I haven't tested this capability out yet, but this is probably one of the most requested features that I've seen over my eight year career as a Jira admin, because to be able to edit workflows, at least in a company managed project, you have to have Jira administrator privileges because you're creating new statuses, new transitions, and these are global statuses. So I'm very curious, how this actually works in a company managed project because I don't think it would work correctly. So I'm going to do some testing on this and I'm going to see how this permission works a little bit better. But if I were to just take it at face value, the way I'm interpreting this ability to edit workflows is just that, that your workflow kind of behaves more like a team managed workflow and non admins can go in there and edit those workflows. But I'm going to have to test this out and see if that's actually true. But this is a very interesting move by Atlassian on this one. So I'm going to stay tuned for this one. So make sure you hit subscribe. Make sure you hit that like button. We're going to come back to this one. All right. As we go down, these are all standard BROS projects manage um, service project agent. That's a new one, but this is only for JSM. So let me know down in the comment section. Are you a JSM user? Would you be interested in seeing some of these JSM only permissions? Let me know down below. We're going to keep scoring though, because all of these have been in our project permissions for a while now. But here we are. We, we have arrived at a new one. Archive issues. Archive issues. This is a brand new functionality and capability that is slowly being rolled out to what appears to be premium users of Jira. And so this is an interesting concept. And I'm going to do a dedicated video just on how to archive issues. So make sure again you're subscribed to the channel because I'm going to be dropping that video very, very soon. I'm actually recording it today. And archiving issues is different than when you move an issue to done. And it's different than deleting the issue because when you delete something in Jira, specifically an issue, it's gone forever. And when you move an issue to done, it still counts against your credit. So it still counts um, against your like burn down. It's in your sprint still. And so you really don't have a clean way of eliminating an issue without deleting it or without moving it to done and again, impacting your metrics. So what Atlassian has introduced is this archive capability where you can go into the issue and just poof it out of existence. But, 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 but it's not deleted. It's still there and you can always retrieve it, which takes us to our next new permission. As you keep scrolling down, we will have the ability to 
set the permission to who can restore those archived issues. And again, make sure you subscribe because we're going to be dropping a video on how this whole archiving process works. So you don't want to miss out on that video. But these are going to be two different permissions now that you as a Jira admin can control for each project. And you can dictate who's able to archive, which I would recommend opening it up to, I wouldn't say everyone, but almost everyone should be able to archive issues. But this restore thing, this should be limited to the project admin, to the project lead, a much smaller set of people. Now, as we keep going down this list, um, I skipped over a whole bunch, but these have been in Jira for project permissions for a really, really long time. And so I'm not going to cover those because those have been covered before. Um, but these are standard. These are default. These, these have been around for a while. As we keep going down, I'm just checking to see if there's anything else that I may have missed. But those appear to be these. Don't worry about these product ones. When you add a plug into Jira, it sometimes adds things to your permissions. But that's pretty much it. So we have those new permissions. We can... Uh, control who can move our fields around or so edit the issue layout. We have the edit workflows, which I'm very curious about. I'm going to be looking into. And we have this new how to archive and how to restore those issues permissions. So these are really, really interesting new permissions. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Have you already started setting up who can do these different capabilities in your projects? I'm very, very curious because they are new. And it's something that I think if you if you just haven't messed with your permission scheme in a while, then you probably don't even know that they're there, but they do take some burden off of you as a Jira admin. And if you're watching this video and you are not a Jira admin, but you are a Scrum Master, a Project Manager, a Product Owner, I would be jumping with Glee because this is so cool. Now, now I can do a couple of those things that were previously only for your Jira admins. And now, again, you might have to negotiate with your Jira admin because at the end of the day, somebody still has to come in and give you the permission over here on the right, right? So somebody still with administrative rights has to give it the, give the power to you. But assuming you can negotiate with your Jira admin and you can get yourself the ability to uh, manage your issue layouts, edit your workflows, and archive your issues, I think this is a really, really cool thing. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And let me know down below if you need any help. Again, my link tree is down there. Click on that if you need any one-on-one. -on -one. If you have any questions that I can help answer, I am available for you. And all the information you need to know is down in the description below. And while you're there, make sure you check out my book. Make sure you check out my free courses. Make sure you check out my paid courses and check out that merch as all of this makes this channel be possible. So if you got value, make sure you check out those links down below and I'll see you in the next one.